I was getting his concrete. Look at that happy guy. I'll have a flat place to roll a creeper to work for the first time in my life. Yay! How exciting. I've been having to do oil changes on this old slab here for now and there's all these rocks from the gravel. <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> And my creeper wheels get stuck in it. Even my good creeper wheels get stuck in it. Yep. Papa's <laughs> gonna have a new. Papa's gonna have a new cement slab. Yay! You're gonna have a roller skate rink. You already told me I can't park on it. <laughs> can't even use it. You can use the corner of it. Honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll put the shipping containers on there sideways. Just block. Clyde them. cannot wait. To run on it. Oh, I know. I told Julie when Neither I was down Sasha. there. She's having. I was down there yesterday. I told Julie having... that you wanted to have a skate party. She's like, "Oh, I gotta get up there for that." We're having a morning. Ooh. Because she's the skater. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're definitely having a skating party. Even yeah, baby, you getting that ball? Even if it's just me and Julie, we're having a skate party. You dag on right. Yep. <laughs> We didn't bring no treats out for Clyde. We don't have any. We're bad parents. No, we're out of treats. We're we're out of treats. How rude. It's getting real. Real shit. We found shit. a giant puffball mushroom. And before I run out of both battery and memory, <laughs> take a look at that beauty. Right as we were getting ready to leave, we're going to pick this later. Uh, the cement crew came. So when they turned around <clears throat> to back the trailer, they nicked it. They nicked it. Hey, there's still enough for us to try. So oh, that's we're good. And my mushroom knife, I didn't get the damp off it, so I had a touch of rust. So I just coiled up my mushroom knife. Mm -hmm. Get some better light No bugs in it. Nice and velvety and soft, like a marshmallow. What I should do is maybe trim the, or just leave it and fry it as is, because there's a little bit of dirt on the outside of the skin. Careful with it, it's delicate. Oh, it feels crazy, like yeah. a piece of fluffy bread or like some like angel food cake. It's so soft. Nice. Yeah, fry that up for sure. Forget about the tongue way. It's a claw. Which red? <coughs> the one I was using? Yeah, uh huh. The one I left up there? Uh huh. Oh, the black one is the one. Flat tire. <coughs> flat tire.
these other two tables and the other one. Probably more room in this one. Broccoli heads have bolted. This is a full sun frontal spot I was not thinking about. They need shade. Carrots, yard long beans are looking starting to look happy here in the yard longs. Carrots definitely. Weeds, of course. Looks like an amaranth coming in or something. Some grass. I'm still waiting to see all my okra. Look at here's one. That's an okra. The... So this is a weed. This is an okra. <sighs> okra are not liking it between the carrots here. I got one over there that looks okay. Lettuce did okay here. Kale. Mm. Everything out here could use a little more shade. Sunchokes, they are happy. Peas are happy. Sunchoke, sunchoke. Strawberries are happy over here, but they're in the shade. Kiwi, this is the guy that needs to get planted ASAP. Look at him. Searching for a place to call home. So. He was a two-time salvage. I'm not sure how many more times he'll come back. So we gotta get him in the ground. So two grapes, a kiwi, a yellow golden raspberry. Yum. Golden raspberries are in. Mm, yum. Mm, those are delicious. They are. So this guy needs to get in the ground still with the kiwi and the two grapes. Got a couple of mulberries that still need a home. And these, yeah, there's supposed to be some sort of cherry, indeterminate cherry tomato. They're huge. Look at, look at how big these are. That's crazy. I can't wait till they come in. And I can either sell them or I'll try one. been getting some zucchinis out of this zucchini bed. I'm really liking that. And then I will try to make sure that I alternate beds so I'm not growing the same thing in every bed and we get those nutrients mixed up. 
down here is the, uh, we put the mycelium down for the pink oyster mushroom. And this melon that I thought was dead is now flowering. This guy here, I don't even know what's going on. Oh, look at this. See? Yeah, some sort of, ouch, I'm not sure what's going on here with this rock. Frickin' zucchini prickles. Look at that. I got that bud rot. I don't know what's going on there. I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm sure it's something people get all the time. But half of them are bad and the other half are fine. It's just strange. There's Papa trying the carrots. Am I in trouble? Hi, Mama. What are you doing? Get up there, Clyde. Hup. Hup. What are you doing, turds? Back. Hup. Get up there and yeah, get up there and sit down, Clyde. Hup. Get up there. Hup. Good boy. Sasha, you got a ball. Oh, she's so happy. Yeah, Clay's a good boy. Yeah. Oh. Happy, happy, happy. We'll get some more fence up for you. We're going to go all the way around the front of the cottage here. Awesome. Oh, yeah. These are so happy. Look at all those oysters. Okay. Success. Yay! Yay! We did it! We're mushroom farmers. That's awesome. Pink oyster mushrooms. I keep going back to check the red um, wine, caps. wine caps, but nothing. There we go. Can you see that beautiful pink oyster? Look at this little guy. I'm gonna eat you. Mmm. That's the only thing we're gonna have to worry about is maybe I wanna put something above the straw so that as they grow they're not totally collecting all the straw. That's so awesome. Yay! Just the feel of it's amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Like, so meaty, definitely. Oh, can we eat them? Yum. They smell delicious. Yes, they do. We'll have some tomatoes, some giant cherry tomatoes, like what? Some artichokes, some Jerusalem artichokes, some sunchoke roots to slice up, some lettuce. So much. Carrots and beans and mushrooms. Yay! First year gains. Woo! Yeah, we've been eating a few of these already. Some sugar snaps. I like all of the bigger pots. Some garden ASMR. Garden ass? ASMR. Oh, ASMR. You're a freak. Mine. <laughs> Oh, 
probably power wash all that out. Caterpillars, ooh. Yep, those trees will be coming down. All them crooked ones leaning over our power. Down tomorrow. That way. Right after I. So here's the short and sweet of it. I gotta make this video short to do some ketchup stuff. First off, I need to be swooped by a robin. Baby birds. Yeah, we got. Ah! Yeah, looks like we got four brand new baby birds. Ah! I'm not gonna hurt him. If I see a worm, I'll give it to you. So yeah, they made a nest there again. Anyway, this straw has been soaking. So it should be good and wet. I'm just going to dump it here. And the bed that we are making here is, this will be our second bed of point cat mushroom. And I've just been soaking these all day really. Uh, every, every time. I'm just gonna dump this first. Because that is soaking wet. So I think it'll be alright. I've been soaking it all day. Alright. Some of our beautiful mycelium and just break it up over top.
I've heard you by now. Alright, let's hope we get a big old bed of wine cap mushrooms to try this fall. This is just what's left of my straw bale soup. Yummy. And I'm gonna just use the rest on top of my red wine cat bed here. Hopefully the bear doesn't like it. I think. Did you put a flower pot to catch the AC water? I see. Oh, <laughs> it's not draining as much as yeah. I thought it was. That's why I had to jet sled that. Carefully. Look at you. That's like some perfect splashing. Get your splash on. Get your, get your splash on. You're all dirty and wet. <laughs> Give it a last little bit. Make sure everything's wet. I might put, I can pull that tomato and that thing closer and say. make it a shade. You're getting everything wet, huh? I'm wet. I never would have guessed that's what you were doing with all the water. That's what I do with water, I get things wet. I hope they stay wet. Moist. So moist. It always helps things. Pretty much everything. Okay, right until they rot. Right. Did you need this water to water your stuff? I don't need nothing. Okay, you're already watered? I'm done. Okay. I didn't know if you were transplanting. I'm just the doing dry. the one I was finishing the one I did. I'll get the other ones tomorrow. Did you my potato transplant? Yeah. I'm gonna go put the other bag in there. So. Alright, well, that's the end of the mushroom bed fix. There it is. Yep. Next to the AC unit. Yep. We can really pick camera angles and spots. <laughs> We're good at this. Listen to the AC. The whole time. That was only like four squares out of it. The wine cap. I'm excited for our wine cap mushroom bed. And I just felt bad for these potatoes that were sitting in a bag growing with my sun chokes. And I haven't used this dirt yet, so I pulled the tarp off of it and I just planted my potatoes and this poor little stack of sun chokes in it. We'll see what happens, I'm sure. I'll get some edible things. It's better than nothing. And I can still use all the dirt all the way around it. So we're all set. Just 
Mm, I'm so excited to plant this red bud. But I have to move all that first. So all of our wood is going to be over there. We're going to have a wood area. More garden. We're going to extend the fence coming out this way. It's greenhouse panels. We're going to make one. Maybe even use it to extend off the back porch kind of thing. Greenhouse off the back porch would be cool. Fence all the way up here. We've already cut down a bunch of trees, so I want this whole acre here to just be front yard with like, you know, 10 or 20 really nice trees for shade, but all in between it is fenced and open for the dogs to run. And uh, gardens, hoop houses, that kind of thing. I'm really excited. So, thanks for coming along. Have a good day.